Hi there, I'm James. And I'm Paul, and here's Chompers. And this is the Great the American great. RV Trip 2021 yeah. 2021. And we are coming to you. I know. Highly coordinated. We are coming to you, high tech special effects. We're coming to you from Washington, New Hampshire. Uh, at a place called Joe's Hideaway, a relatively new campground. But before we talk to you about uh, Joe's Hideaway, we had some observations. Um, yeah, we were, talking, we were talking the other day. The other day, yeah. As we drove through very quickly through New Hampshire on our way here, and we were starting to notice, uh, we always pay attention to cars and types of cars that are driven across the country. And you know, we're from the west, and we couldn't be much further point to the opposite end of the country. And we've driven through a lot in the west. We it seems like there's a bigger mix of cars. Yeah, you in get general. a lot of different cars, Types imported cars. cars, trucks, SUVs, <clears throat> everything. More luxury but, cars, yeah, definitely but, in California, Arizona, Nevada. But the minute you get to Montana, Idaho, you start seeing pickup trucks, and pickup trucks are the car of choice. I think that's the whole upper Midwest, like yeah. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan. You know, they have winter to deal with and all that. And you see, I would say at least half the vehicles are but pickup the, trucks or more. Oh, well, the other thing we <clears> noticed though is like. Um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, obviously Michigan, uh, a lot more American cars. You oh, see and American cars. Buicks, yes. Pontiac. You see a lot of Pontiacs, even though they still don't make them. Um, Michigan and Ohio, it was, yeah, American yeah, cars American go like cars crazy. Though. Yeah, yeah. And now we're in New England. Yeah, what brought this up is we started seeing foreign cars, lots of Hyundai, um, Subaru. Well, Kia's. of course, in Vermont. I mean, Subaru is the official car, I think. <laughs> Somehow. They're, they're not sponsoring us. That's, <laughs> that's the official car of. Oregon, yeah, Chicago, yeah. Colorado, uh, but you know it's four wheel drive and it's mild winter yeah. weather, so it doesn't require some huge, huge Definitely pickup. But smaller four wheel drive. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, so it's very interesting noticing these things, these, things these changes that are regional. <laughs> but now well, let's talk to you about where we're at, which is um, Joe's Hideaway in Washington, New Hampshire. When we arrived after about a five and a half hour driving day, we were surprised to find out it was a cash only campground which be, we to, don't well to be fair it's on their website we just didn't read we it. just didn't and it was sort of a kind of a last minute booking anyway it kind of was a wonk 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 you know when you arrive after five and a half hours we had to run into the turn around leave the camp go to the village uh find an atm at a little general store that we had to wait for them to refill the cash <laughs> in the atm but anyway we got in tried to erase that memory and, and checked in here at uh joe's which is about <clears throat> they've owned this place for about nine years and it is a very organized and clean and open um, campground. Yeah, you literally, noticed that from the start. Literally cut out of the forest here in, in New Hampshire. You could see where they just clear cut trees and made a campground. And what we realized is we really like open air and more organized campgrounds generally than the camping experience type ones. And because it's newer, uh, the, the road <clears throat> to the campground is wider. They're level sites. Uh, they, the sites here and the ones that we're at uh, have electric, water, and sewer, which is great. This is our first tr uh, campground with full hookup, so you can use the RV to its fullest, which is always very fun. <laughs> Absolutely. They've got a great pool <clears throat> with a huge pool deck, plenty of lawn chairs. Disco Next area. That, a little disco area and a bar. That we weren't here on a weekend. We're here midweek, so there's not a lot of activities going on, but we understand, like most of these campgrounds, every weekend is a big group and activity. They have a big area they call Tent City, and they're expanding that from what it sounds like. Oh, and the uh, cool yeah. fire pits. They're like little... Most of them have like these grotto type fire pits, so it's not right in the dead middle of your camp. It's on the edge, yeah. and it's uh, it's only like three sided, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, that was very cool too. They've got a great shower house, an outdoor movie area, uh, just generally very well organized uh, and put together campground. The thumbs down pieces, which is a little bit minor if you're planning ahead, is there's no laundry. That's kind of a bummer, but we knew that, and so we planned ahead. And the other thing is. Wi-Fi is very, very sketchy. Well, no, there's no Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, the there's no Wi-Fi, but cell coverage is very, cell very sketchy. Yeah, yeah, we have we have our <laughs> Verizon hotspot, our AT and T hotspot, and T-Mobile. Uh, Verizon seems to be the best, and then AT and T and T-Mobile is just sketchy. Yeah, um, we're, so, we're we're managing. Oh, there is a fun place up by the pool that says best best cell best coverage cell here coverage or something zone. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's very clever and cute. But it's a fun place. <clears throat> anyway, James, what do you think of this campground? What would you rate it? Oh, this is an eight for sure. Yeah, I think um, I would agree. I'd say eight plus. Um, if they had Wi-Fi, I would probably give it a nine or a ten. Actually, you know, but actually, probably that's only the, the only things that are that make it kind of a drag are just connectivity. So if connectivity is yeah. not important, 
um, everything else, and you don't mind paying cash. Easy to get to, Easy very to clean, get, yeah. organized, colorful. There's a lot of fun, uh, nice sites that are well yeah. maintained for the permanence. Um, and I don't give 10, so I'm giving it an 8. <laughs> very good. So anyway, this is as far northeast as we get on this road trip. So this is our most New England experience. If you're in the area, we definitely recommend uh, Joe's Hideaway. Great place to camp. Uh, and I, from what we hear from talking to the few people that are here during the week, that the weekends are really fun. So definitely look it up. So thank you for watching. <laughs> like our videos if you like. It's fun watching your comments. Yeah. So if you have any comments about cars or roads or what you know about the U.S. in that respect, and hit that little let bell us know. up there. Mm -hmm. and, if, and that's the notifications. And that way you'll get a notification when we post new videos. And you know, a word to the wise? Yes. Uh, well, let's see. We've already said about think before you speak. What's a good word to the wise, James? Listen more than you speak. Oh, listen. Now that's a good one. And that's very helpful in relationships, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I don't know anything about it, but Chompers <laughs> listens a lot. That's Look at those right. ears. Thank you, guys. Travel right, safely. Travel safely. Thanks for watching.